Hey everybody, I hope you had a great holiday season. Today we're back with a classic Barry Harris video and we're gonna talk about a concept that's used by almost every jazz musician that I know. And that's the concept of either expanding a sound or simplifying a sound. Barry does this with his major and minor diminished scales. This concept can be used to create lines such as this one. All right, let's start with simplifying sounds. Okay, so the first overarching idea of everything in this lesson is pretty much that one sound can be pretty much played over any type of sound. Of course, you will need to resolve any line that you're playing uh, tastefully, but theoretically, if you're playing a two, five, one chord progression, you can play any one of these sounds in this progression over each other and it's gonna work. For example, we could play a D minor seven arpeggio and play it over a G7 or a C major 7, since this is a 2-5-1 in the key of C. Now Barry codifies this idea into these great scales called the major and minor diminished scales. They sound like this. As you can see, these are eight note scales, and they pretty much add the sharp five scale degree into either our major scale or our minor scale. Here's why this is important. These scales contain both the five chord and the one chord within them at the same time. Check it out. If you play the one chord of this scale, and by the way, the one chord of this scale is not a major seven chord, it's gonna be a major six chord within the sound. Anyway, if you play the one chord of this scale, uh, which would be C major six, and you move each one of those notes up to the next note in the scale, you're gonna get this. You get a diminished chord. Now diminished chords are the same sound as a dominant seven flat nine chord. And you can see this on the guitar by playing just our standard G seven flat nine voicing. So if you repeat this pattern, uh, moving one note up to the next note, and then it turns into a chord, you're gonna notice that you get the one chord, or an inversion of the one chord, and just an inversion of the diminished chord. So what this means for us is that we can play any of these sounds over just the chord of C major or over any of the chords within the key of C major. And when I say sound, I mean playing the arpeggio of the chord or the parent scale that that chord comes from. For example, you can mix arpeggios together or you can play them as scales mixing the diminished scale and the major six diminished scale together. And remember that all the sounds in a two, five, one are, they come from the same source. So theoretically we can play any line that we create with this scale over any one of these chords. This also works over at minor 2-5-1 progressions. You just need to use the minor 6 diminished scale to create your lines. So now let's talk about expanding a sound. So we know about major and minor 6 diminished scales, but what happens if we did that exercise we did before, but with a major 7 voicing instead of a major 6 voicing? Well, let's find out. First, take a major seven chord, then move each note up the major six diminished scale from before. Mm -hmm. 
So now instead of simplifying everything to two different types of sounds, we're expanding this one sound into seven different types of sounds. Here are some examples. Just think about this as tension and release. Sounds with tension want to resolve to sounds that don't have tension. Also remember that any lines that you create using these sounds from the scale, you can use over not only just the one chord, but the five chord as well, or theoretically any other chords within this key. One of the great sounds that is within this scale that I personally have been working on is the major diminished sound. This just works like a normal diminished chord, but it's a little bit crunchier. So you can play this over all the same spots you would normally play a diminished chord in Barry scale. Here's a line using this sound. I would recommend taking any sound that you really like from this scale and play it first in its arpeggiated form and then combine it with the parent scale that it comes from. So as you can see, these Barry Harris concepts go pretty deep. I wanted this lesson to be an introduction to thinking about chords not just as themselves, but a part of something bigger. The advantage of this is that you can take one sound and play it over a ton of different, uh, different chords. And to demonstrate this, I'm gonna play one chorus over the great standard tune-up, and I'm gonna use a bunch of sounds from the major six diminished scale, and I'm gonna apply it to all the great two fives in this tune. Thanks so much for watching. If you want me to go in depth to any one of these approaches more, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Or if you want me to cover a certain topic that I haven't done yet, also let me know in the comment sections below. Trust me, I read all the comments. I know that I haven't had a lot of time to upload this past half year, but I really appreciate the support that people are still giving to this channel. Even though I'm not uploading a lot, I can still see that people are coming back to watch my videos, and YouTube is sort of pushing some of my videos to some new audiences. So short story, I just wanna thank you for your support of this channel, and don't worry, I'll continue to upload uh, when I have the time. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, remember to always keep swinging 